one year caliper and we see as soon as 1.27 we know okay it's done okay so it's hitting now we leave actually we make it one point even though the groove is 1.27 mm deep we sometimes just keep it at like 1.3 or even little bit more so that it does not hit just kiss you know when it hit it means you are going to add some more pressure more tonnage just kiss then just kiss it no more pressure right okay and these four uh, it's easy for you to understand these four are nothing but guide pins guide bushes right guide bushes for upper die and then like it has multiple forms and all so to control the <coughs> control the forces we have these two guide lower guide block so what happened we have guide post in upper which comes and uh, that's way that is the way we try to balance and provide some thirds uh, take out balance out the thirst because of the shape of the part All right now these are stock guides here you have a stock guide here a stock guide you see these two are movable and these one are fixed uh, this is the front side right if, because our stock that coil width could be less could be more it has a tolerance right so within that range it might be less or more so you need to adjust it you need you may need every time during setting you might need to move it uh, or you need you might need to move it back so it to accommodate bigger or smaller size right this is all fixed it has double holes it's double to this now now this one you see here this one this whole thing uh, if you see this whole thing here right let me just hide this one and just hide this one so you see this is bolted using four four guide pins guide pin detained also using that right so what happens we this known as lifter block what is it lifter block why we say lifter block because your when we feed the coil at that time it has to be in lift up position when the upper die comes down it will first push it down to the dead in position and then that will happen from the uh, pad upper pad and then the punch will trim or pierce or form right so that's why it has to be in lifter position that's why we use the lifter block here question is we we could use we could use a small lifter pins also that's also okay small lifter blocks or pins that's also okay but here you know this is kind of big one and uh, right now we are using only four guide pins and we have six gas springs in our dies we only use gas spring we don't use guide uh, coil springs right so what happens had we used instead of this had we used anything uh, like a smaller smaller lifter pins we again had to use the gas springs right so it's more economical and more better okay now as you know this this is my stock guide this pin here this pin over here and at the end of the die right okay that okay it's not here but uh, what we do we provide two pins throughout the length of the die so one here and one will be somewhere here what happens you need to make the coil align to the die it has to be in center with the press center line right so what do we do when we fix this die on the press poster we manually match with this pin and that pin so if my coil is meeting this pin here and this pin here it means it's a straight right so for that purpose it is i already told you what is this and this one is balancing block right because the upper pad when it comes first it it, it is not going to hit this but 
that will come and start pushing from here right all these are these white are three mysticals right we have die buttons now some time back i had explained how to use the die buttons so these are kind of precision slide feet means it will come out come uh, going very smoothly very easily right it will not be loose but it will not be tight how do we retain it so let me just hide this so this has a flat cut it's a standard actually if you go to data we use data only so if you have a standard flat cut so against that flat this will come and fix it right so this is my uh, trim line now this is the profile which we are trimming we follow 10% of uh, sheet metal thickness as die clearance and we also try to keep minimum minimum 15 millimeter 15 millimeter gap distance between any whole wall and the trim line right uh, if we can do 20 then we are more better but at least 15 millimeter should be there so let me just check it first for you guys right so if i check between here and here sorry it took uh, okay no, that is because i had to hide it now as you can see it's roughly 20 millimeter right so it's uh, it's split in multiple steels because that way it's easy for us to maintain them right and uh, this one is my this one here was pitch punch and then here is pitch sensor so what happens as soon as it you cut this and it moves ahead then as soon as it will reach here this will come inside and get into the slot and it will move away from here so it will give a so this will give a sensing to the PLC, place PLC, right? So we have this sensor over here, and the sensor will be as per the customer. All even this um, pitch sensing will be as per the customer standard, right? And uh, we have some more. Now we also have to show you how we how we fix these plates here. So as you can see, this is my trim still. It's like 50 millimeter or two inches thick. And it will have a backup plate, hard backup plate. The thickness of the backup plate will be half inches, right? And then it will be fixed like that, right? We have used, uh, as you can see, we have used one, two, three, four bolts, two doubles, and these one and here, one here are jack screws. What are jack screws? In your car, you must have seen your car also you must have seen jack so jack you use jack and lift it up right so similarly here you use jack screws and lift it up and uh, one more information i'll show you here you see the burn double hole or not through the lower plate and the bottom plate right it is only up to here and then a smaller diameter hole are there so this is known as locking hole what happens if it's not there, chances are that double at some point of time might get loosened and it might come out, right? But because it's here, it will never go out, never fall down, right? So that's all here. So this we are like, uh, uh, this we use because the pad is going to push out from here. And this we use because it will balance the upper pad, correct? because the force will be different here and different here so it so the the pad might get tilted and this will this is what will balance the pad balancer it's also known as pad balancer now 
this lifter plate has four lifting holes also as you can see